everybody, it's Lavender Town. And a little while back, I made a video where every character that I pulled in a gotcha game, I would have to draw. And I wanted to try that again, this time with Alchemy Stars, the sponsor of today's video. Alchemy Stars is a JRPG that is available for free on both iOS and Google Play. One of the things that I immediately noticed about this game is all the cute characters. Um, you guys know I'm such a sucker for character design, so I was immediately pulled in. Alchemy Stars seamlessly merges magic and technology in both its world and combat, and the combat system is actually really innovative. It kind of blends together RPG, card collecting, and a variety of other strategy elements. You fight using this colored tile system that allows your characters to unleash special attacks onto the enemies, as well as do major healing to their allies. The tile colors correlate to the element that their powers come from, and each character has their own special powers, their own stories, and their own personalities. So without further ado, let's pull a character and see who I'm drawing. So the first character we're going to be drawing for this video is the 4 star character, Jane. She is known for always staying neutral no matter what, refusing both bribes and threats, um, and she keeps a bunch of records in a case with her that she carries at all times, so people sometimes call her the walking archive of Umbraton, which is where she's from. So right off the bat, I really liked Jane's design. I love her suit that she's wearing, um, as well as her color palettes. I like how bright her hair is, really standing out, that bright white, um, with the darkness of her uh, suit and her other accents, particularly her horns, which are kind of like this navy color, and then they have this bright little gilding of gold on them. Um, and there's pops of gold throughout this character design, which I also really like. I tried to keep both her pose and her face pretty low energy just because she does look very calm in her um, official character art, though I do think I gave her a bit more of a smug smirk, um, and that just might be my bias towards this sort of like noble outfit. Um, I almost get kind of like a female prince vibe from this character, and I think that kind of bled into the way that I um, posed her face and her body, but um, in the end, I do really like how this turned out. I think my biggest regret about this art is that her hands are off screen because in her official character art you can see these big chunky rings on her hands and I actually really like that as a aspect of a character design. Um, the character designs in this game are incredibly detailed and they have a lot of like luxurious detail everywhere. Um, so I wasn't necessarily surprised to see jewelry on the characters, but it did make me realize I don't see a lot of rings on characters um, a lot of the time, probably just because they're really tedious to draw. But um, it definitely makes her seem like way more fashionable and uh, interesting. So. Yeah, I, I like that part. I um, definitely think that uh, as far as like color palette wise, I think that this is just a really smart choice. I also noticed there was a little like flash of gold right by her pupil. I almost missed that part, um, but it definitely gives her a more complex looking eye because there are actually two colors in there. It's sort of pale gray color and then a little bit of warmth right by the pupil. Now that we're done drawing Jane, it's already time to pull another character. So I can't lie, I was pretty excited when I got this character. Um, she was my first six star character that I've ever pulled in this game. She's an interrogator from the True Order and an ardent follower of Victoria. Um, so she has a very creepy cute energy that I absolutely love. Um, a little bit spooky, definitely adorable. I decided with this one to copy the pose exactly. I wanted to give it more of a draw this in your style kind of energy and I just felt like the pose suited her so well that I kind of just wanted to take it. Um, so that's where I started with this and um, her hair is very long and dynamic in her original art so I wanted to try to capture that especially um, and give her a lot of energy in her face and her pose um, to sort of juxtapose against Jane who's so calm. 
speaking of outfits, uh, she actually has a brand new outfit, um, as well as some other characters do uh, right now for the Ocean Severin events. Um, I'll talk more in depth about that later, but basically it's a limited time event that's happening with Alchemy Stars right now. So if you want to check out the new story event and the new characters and the new outfits, um, you should definitely give it a, a peek before the event is over. It ends on September 29th, so definitely check it out before then. But anyway, um, I loved drawing her. There's something about her pose and her energy and just all that like flowing hair kind of going everywhere and <laughs> all the little details on her jacket. Um, it was just really sort of working for me. I also like how this part of her hat up at the top there kind of looks like bat wings. like. Not really, but just like, just enough that it, it kind of charmed me. She has almost a Halloween kind of vibe, which uh, you guys know me. I'm already excited for Halloween, even though it's August, so um, I really, really loved that. Uh, her color palette, um, kind of similar to Jane, it's mainly neutral, so it's like this silvery color on her hair and a lot of white um, and like black, but then there's little hints of purple throughout, so that kind of makes her whole color palette feel very cohesive. That's honestly a pretty good trick. If you have trouble with your color palettes, try to keep it pretty neutral and then put in little pops of color like the purple and the gold here. Um, it just makes your whole color palette look very mature and properly put together. Um, so yeah, I loved, I loved drawing her. I somehow lost the audio for this, um, but I got another six star, Michael, who um, I was honestly really, really, uh, really spooked by. I love this design, um, but it's very creepy with all the syringes surrounding her. Her backstory is that she is one of the famous four angels of the Lumo Knights. Um, she's very uptight, she never really smiles, uh, and she was transformed by the Illumina after she was seriously wounded, which did result in her losing some of her emotions, which is why she's so uh, stoic. I really like the blending of like angelic iconography, particularly with the like gold halo that's coming towards her face, um, alongside this kind of like technological and almost kind of horror um, kind of uh, aesthetic. I think those two combine really interestingly. I've I've always been a fan of like bright and pretty um, scary things, so I feel like this character kind of slots right into that intersection. I think it's a testament to the design that she still looks kind of scary and intimidating even in my super cartoony art style. Um, I think that that's pretty shocking honestly and uh, I was impressed with that. Um, drawing her was pretty difficult to be honest. I thought that um, like there's just so many little details and particularly the like shoulder surrounding piece with all of these syringes. It was really tricky to get it to look right and look like hard and not uh, sort of squishy, like so much of my art kind of looks squishy, so um, I tried to get that across. And she also has this really complex sort of like triangle pattern uh, that shows up on the inner lining of her um, capelet kind of thing. Um, so that was tricky for me to figure out at first, but then I kind of I got it sorted. Um, thank goodness for the selection tool, honestly. I don't know what I would do without it. Um, but yeah, her whole design is just based in white, black, and gold. Um, and it's very striking. It's very simple, but it's very effective, I think. Even just looking at my own art of her, I think that Michael is incredibly intimidating. <laughs> So Uriel is a Lumopolis knight and she is also one of the famous four angels just like Michael. Um, she's incredibly withdrawn and pessimistic um, which is in contrast with her super fiery appearance. The reason that she's so pessimistic and sort of depressed is because she witnessed the horrors of war, which is kind of sad um, and it really makes me feel bad for her, but man do I love her design. Her proportions are pretty striking. She's very long and slender and her hair is so long that it kind of envelops her whole body. Um, she also has these gold pieces uh, around the top of her head that look like 
almost like horns, but they're really not. Um, and she has these little bursts of red mixed in with her white and gold color palette. Um, I gave her big ol' eyes and my like favorite eye spikes that I do for eyelashes sometimes. And um, honestly, I just tried to keep up with all the detail that's in this character. She doesn't look busy because her color palette is so carefully managed, but there is a ton of detail in this character. She's got a huge necklace. Um, she's got gold banding on her arms. She's got little arm cuffs. Um, she's, it's not her leg that you're seeing, you're actually seeing like tights, um, and which have little tiny details on them. And she also has this like tubing going into her back. Just like Michael's syringes, this almost gives me kind of a horror vibe. And again, I really like it because it's combined with this very pretty, um, angelic angel kind of aesthetic. Uh, I just think that combination is super, super fun. I kind of thought she might be albino a little bit because she does have bright red eyes and her skin and hair is very, very pale. Um, so I kind of went with that direction, though in retrospect, I think I should have warmed up the color of her hair a little bit. Um, but yeah, she's incredibly pale and she just has these like splashes of red that give her a bit of a spooky vibe um, while also being very like very graceful and pretty looking um and uh i just tried to give like a sort of softness to her shading just so that it wasn't too sharp yeah. with this one i also tried to mimic the pose pretty closely just because i really liked it and i felt like it communicated her personality really well um so i pretty much stuck with it almost exactly just making some small small changes already on to the final pull of the video So for the last character that I pulled for this video, we got Uriah. Uriah's story is that um, she was a minor noble uh, at the church academy and she was betrayed by a teacher who she trusted. Um, however, she learned to overcome this and forgive that teacher and now she is very gentle and delicate and she faces everything calmly with a smile um, so that's kind of her whole personality and her backstory um, she has a very gentle and sort of like nature looking energy to her especially compared to the angels that we had just done um, she definitely has a softer sort of appearance um, she uh, has this very nice like sort of almost like a veil thing over her hair uh, and she has like a warm sort of honey blonde hair color. I really tried to focus on maintaining the super gentle air that she has about her in the original art as well as the um, performance that her voice actress is doing is also giving a very calming um, sort of image of her so I tried to really keep that um, and I really wanted to lean into the flowiness of her cape and her hair and her veil. Her whole design feels very flowy. Nothing looks overly tight, um, uh, except I guess for her like main dress, like top part. But even that, like she just looks very comfortable and very floaty. Um, so I tried to keep all of that really accurate to the character. She has this like quilted texture on the outside of her cape, which I noticed in uh, multiple different characters, um, but uh, I tried to make that look extra, extra soft. And um, I tried to warm up even the black color in her outfit, uh, just to sort of separate her from some of the other characters who I kept pretty cool with the neutrals. Um, I wanted her to just generally have a warmth to her. Um, um, I gave her like some blush and I tried to get her hair like nice and long and flowy and silky looking um, just the way it does in the original art. Um, I sometimes have trouble drawing characters who don't have bangs, um, but I didn't have too much trouble with her, I don't think. Um, <laughs> and uh, I tried to give the gold just a little bit extra attention just so that it does actually look shiny and metallic and really have some like gleam and glimmer on it. I think she turned out pretty cute. I liked using the warm colors after using so many cool ones throughout a lot of the other character designs. 
And with that, I've drawn my last character. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me pull and draw these characters. Let me know what your favorite character in Alchemy Stars is. Definitely check out the Ocean Sovereign event that's going on right now. Players will be getting rewards by simply logging in. Um, there will be in-game bonuses and discount gift packs. There's going to be all kinds of special events. And there's also a slushy mini game that you have to check out, um, as well as in-game rewards, including the in-game currency, as well as a brand new character. Click the link in the description to check out the game and use code SUMMER EVENT and you will get a free character. Um, so again, thank you so much to Alchemy Stars for sponsoring the video and thank you so much to you guys for watching it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much to my beautiful patrons, including Tom the Chicken, Odds Jamal, Kayla Grimes, Rodrigo, Neurocherry, Kali Halsey, Kubo, Moonmilk, Alana the Artist, Rylan Parker, Raylan, Kadaria, Something Super, Deadly Nightshade Art, Maria Vasquez, Astral Fox Art, Middle Z, Lily Alert, The Espresso Poker Face, Morrissey, Axolotl, Chris Draws, Kai Kizer, Subaki, Liliana Hummantree, Michael Lavalie, Cutie Pie, Rainwater Pearls, Ice Cream Pal, Lion, Nora Cornelson, Cola, Your Boy ST, JJ Jade, and of course, Blah Blah Blah. Yeah.